In the last decade, there was a real resurgence of large earthquakes. Everybody knows the 2004 Boxing Day earthquake, which caused a massive tsunami in the Indian Ocean. And there was a huge number of fatalities, up to 200,000. And then recently, in April 2015, we had now this Nepal earthquake as one of the big earthquakes happening in the Himalayan. And everybody knows what the effects there was. So what has happened in seismology is that we have collected a massive amount of data in the last decade. Well, seismology uh, essentially um, try to extract and to analyze the information hidden in the ground motion signals recorded at the surface, originating from uh, earthquake uh, source generated waves that are propagating uh, within the Earth interior. Well, one of the challenge is that uh, um, massive data, massive and complex data are nowadays generated by the seismology uh, observation and monitoring systems. And that outpace our ability to analyze and to model them properly. So new discovery will only emerge if we are able to use uh, innovative methods for analyzing and modeling this data enabled by a data intensive e infrastructure. An image of Verce, and I think a goal of Verce, was really to turn in uh, very large simulations into numerical laboratories with services that will allow users of the community to take advantage and to explore and exploit this numerical uh, data. Verche is developing a tool to exploit uh, the wealth of open data generated by uh, seismological research. So Verche has greatly simplified the process of trying to simulate these seismic waveforms. Before we had to implement it ourselves um, on a, on a, um, in a very complex way and this Actually, for seismologists, it's not easy. We want to get results straight away. Virtually allows us just to um, produce these simulations very quickly and very easily. So Verte consists of uh, different research partners and works across disciplines, in particular seismology and IT. So what I do in the Virte project is to um, help seismologists handle big data and distributed the, their data in different HPC infrastructures. Um, basically, what we have done is a new parallel framework that is called dispel for pi that enables a user or seismologist, in this case, to run their application in their, in their laptop and then automatically run those applications in different HPC infrastructures. The tool developed by the Virtue project uh, is an interactive portal uh, that allows any researcher, uh, both expert and non-expert, to exploit through a, an intuitive graphical interface to exploit powerful numerical codes and HPC resources in order to simulate uh, the waves generated by an earthquake and uh, perceive it at given locations. We were only limited to using a very small part of seismic data, so the arrival time or um, the amplitude of the seismic wave, and now we can begin to use uh, the entire seismic waveform. But using this requires lots of data storage and memory, and the Virtue project is allowing us now to carry out these data-intensive processes. Full wave tomography uh, is a particular seismological technique for uh, inverse modeling and uh, in particular it exploits uh, a measure of the difference that is of the misfit between uh, accurately simulated synthetics and um, recorded uh, seismograms in order to improve um, the initial models of the structure of the earth in the sense that we can use the misfit in order to change the initial model and uh, to improve the matching of the observed recordings. 
So in particular, uh, full waveform tomography benefits from the use of full waveforms because a complete seismogram carries a huge amount of information that is paramount to increase our knowledge of the Earth interior compared to single arrivals. In Vetsa, we are interested in uh, uh, basically performing a um, simulation of uh, seismic wave propagation in uh, um, complex geological environment. Unfortunately, this process of uh, subdivide the region in uh, small parts is often uh, a bottleneck for the simulation process. The simulation of seismic wave propagation requires solving uh, the governing uh, equation of the problem. Usually this is done uh, by numerical method that requires that uh, we subdivide the region of interest in uh, small parts and we solve the equation in this part. It's uh, called meshing. So we provide a library of uh, meshes uh, for a lot of uh, cases that the people can use it to, to start learning, to start using uh, these uh, tools. Well, virtually was a new challenge because no other project had attempted to put together the same two viewpoints. Every form of research is a matter of getting people to come together and focus, bringing their different skills, their different expertise, their different knowledge, and getting that into a focus which shifts things. And this brought two groups that tended not to come together in the past. It brought the data people who deal with and handle data from its collection to its use, and it brought the computational people who run big computer models. And bringing those two together was a new challenge. Wave simulation applications are complex applications orchestrating uh, data analysis and simulation workflows. What Verge did is really to ease these uh, complex workflows by providing uh, an interface, tools and services that allow users to gather a large amount of earthquake data from the community data centers, earth models and meshes associated to these earth models and to distill them as an input for uh, uh, large-scale wave simulation codes. Now, Verche allow the users to run these codes on distributed computing infrastructures like HPC infrastructures or cloud infrastructures around Europe and then to capture back the data generated and analyze them against the observation with uh, data intensive library tools. So the Virtual Project funded by the EU Infrastructure Initiative is important to seismology, to solid earth sciences because we try to bring together big data science, modeling and all the data we have collected over the last 10 years to develop the next generation of physical models in earth sciences. In the last five years computational seismology has really gone a far way with community driven projects which makes us or which helps us to uh, model 3D wave propagations very easily. However, having done that, there's still a big problem in setting up these algorithms, making all the input files and really training the next generations of PhD students, seismologists in using it. What we are trying with the virtual platform is to make this process much easier so that nearly all PhD students, maybe in 10 years time, can actually have easy access to 3D waveform modeling codes and the traces which come out to, to get a better understanding of the fine scale structure of the Earth. The strategy during the Virtue project has been really to be in line with the research practice and what the researchers needed. And Adopting and building on uh, standards, IT and seismology standards, that will foster um, uh, international collaboration and cross-disciplinary collaboration uh, for uh, new uh, methods in uh, seismology. In doing so, Verce has also been a major contribution for the IT infrastructures uh, behind the European Plate Observatory system 
uh, which again is one of the major uh, European initiatives of the Solid Earth. And as such, uh, Verche should progressively expand to more cross-disciplinary ac um, applications and other kind of data. The computational scientists had a very strong model of the way they wanted to do things, and they're very protective of their systems. The data people are instead coping with the problem that to understand Earth, you have to collect signals from all around the Earth. And those are collected by different people, but that data has to be brought together and shared. In one case, you've got a protection model, and in another case, you've got a sharing, global sharing model, and these two different cultures, bringing them together was a great challenge. Well, we addressed this challenge by teasing out what the technical and organizational details were about crossing the boundaries. And then we built workflows and other systems that cross those boundaries automatically so that once we've got a solution, it can be reused repeatedly. Virtue is really a contribution toward a new European scientific instrument uh, allowing to explore, analyze and model large amount and of data generated by the observational and monitoring systems of the seismology community. And as such, Verce is a contribution to the European plate observatory systems, uh, that is, uh, which is a um, major initiative uh, of the solid earth community in Europe.